guys, I think I found a new love of my life. And and that love is it's it's attack heroes. This game is amazing. In just such a weird way. It is essentially Dynasty Warriors mixed in with uh I, I don't know what the genre is called, but it's kind of a character action RPG. Um, it's kind of like, I want to say, maybe, uh, not Tales of Disgaea, although it has kind of that absurdity to it. Um, Tales of Symphonia, maybe? Possibly. In any case, this game is bizarre, it's amazing, it's awesome. Let me show you some of the previous levels. And uh, just show you how absurd this game gets quite quickly. You play as uh, heroes of the Three Kingdoms, who are all now either the femme versions or they're monsters for some reason. But all of these characters you're seeing here in this bizarre, very much Disgaea themed uh, presence are actually period characters from. Uh, Chinese mythology, well not mythology, but the, the, the tale of the, the Three Kingdoms, or the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, uh, which is an interesting book, it's all, I mean also it's you know, the Dynasty Warriors, uh, <laughs> it's the Dynasty Warriors heroes from those games. It's actually based off a book called Remnants of the Three Kingdoms, uh, which could be, be fixed, I mean obviously well, there's a lot of uh, Liberties that are taken in the stories, but uh, apparently there are characters from that in this history. And of course, Guan Yu is actually a, uh, a man who rose to such things that he's now basically just the god of the world in China. So there's that. And of course, yeah, I mean, you can play as Guan Yu, except Guan Yu is a hot chick. So really, this game is just the greatest thing of all time. Even this boss here, uh, that we're fighting right now, that's actually a character in the. Uh, in the romance of the uh, three kingdoms. <laughs> this is it. You pick teams of four, and they all have their own mood, and they all have their buddies. Of course, there's healers, there's these grapplers here, and there's absurd, like, there's explosions, there's numbers flying your way, there's cool stuff happening all the time. Uh, you level up, you gain more stuff. And, and that's it. This, this is the game. It's, it's so fucking cool. <laughs> I can't stop playing it. I just, I thought, you know, it's only like six bucks, eh, I'll give it a shot, eh, it could be fun. Uh, turns out, it's real fucking fun. <laughs> it's amazing. Let's go check out, uh, let's go check out and see just how, uh, hot Guan Yu looks. Cause, cause that's, that, that's fun, right? Of course, uh, this is currently in early access, so it's not completely 100% translated yet, so there will be periods where you'll see Chinese characters. And you just want to know what the fuck they're saying? Oh, did I also mention that there's crazy ass Vocaloid music that goes on the whole time? Oh, did, did I vote? Well, because it, it is, and it's fucking awesome. Literally everything about this game is nuts, it's bonkers, and I think it's it's my favorite. It, it, it's my favorite. Careful of the archers, oh, shoot and stuff, oh jeez. Yeah, just, just, just absurd. I don't know why Zhao Mu turns into a dog or a frog or something. It doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. Nothing matters. It's just, it just is. Apparently they drop food. I assume that heals. Yeah. Hot on you. There you go. Pretty hot. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge. Apparently also little Mu has the ability to uh, cure all these heroes that we're saving who are cursed by. Uh, Dong Dong Zhang, Dong, Dong Zhuang, I want to say, who seems to be the overall over-encompassing baddie of this game, but he does it by kissing him. It's, it's amazing. He's like, yeah, it's, it's the best, it's the best power ever. That a, that a boy, that a boy now, Zhao Mu, that a boy. I just, I just love how Shang Fei is a girl, and her major ability is power bombing people. It's pretty rad. <laughs> this is this is the game, guys. Of course, as you complete certain challenges, you get stars, and as you get more stars, you can unlock more characters. As you uh, are given the ability to unlock them throughout the story, and then of course you have gold coins that you can use to. Yeah, so you do. now now she's his magic lip. God damn, God damn this game. But uh, yeah, 
that's that's about it. That this is the game. I mean, if you guys want to see a full LP of this, I'd be more than happy to provide. Uh, but I just figured I'd show you. you know, what the fuck? Am I fighting a mimic? Are there mimics in this game too? There's just fucking mimics everywhere. It's absurd. It's nonsense. Oh, I get the back barrels to get coins. Why not? You know? Why the fuck? Who am I to judge? This is this is working. Catch. Oh my god, Jank Fed. My love. It's amazing. <laughs> I have I have no other words, guys. This this is the game. I will try to show you like a more involved boss fight. It's very super fucking. Here's an anime sequence for you. There you go. Boom. If I can, uh, if I can get far enough to unlock uh, Jean Lu's big epic uh, cinematic move, it's pretty rad. <laughs> it's real fucking rad. Not gonna lie. Uh, this is this is delivering some fucking coin. I'll tell you that. But uh, this is it, guys. Attack heroes. I'll leave a link in the description below. If, if, if you want just a fucking bizarre nut job game to play to pass the time, I recommend this game. Uh, and, and I think, I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's all I got. I think the game is broken me otherwise. Oh no, I fucked up! Oh well. Alright, let's go fight a one of the bosses, which I have only once. So I can only... Okay, alright. Let's go, uh... Check out the hero edit, show you what it's all about. So as I mentioned, here's, here's the leveling up, you get coins, level them up, they add more skills. So as you can see, once I get him to level 15, he gets his... Actually, let's just fucking do that right now, so we can do... all oh, Cinematic. Um, more stars, don't mock these guys. That guy looks... Awesome, awesome. Jatai is actually my favorite character in the Romance of the Three Kings. Of course we have Lu Lu, and of course he's a demon. Shiwando. Yep. Tai Shisei. Of course, it's the chick. Dang Mi. I'm sorry. Oh, that's the pirate dude. Yeah. Awesome. This game's fucking awesome. But, uh, yeah. That's, that's, that's uh, enough for that. So, I'm gonna go grind out real quick, and we're gonna get uh, Zhao Mu's ability real quick here. Alright, we've grinded, so let's, uh, let's go in and uh, do a boss fight. Your search is very good and mm, useless. Okay. Alright. Jamu, let's fucking do this thing. I grinded you out, so you're awesome. Uh oh. His multi body technique? Oh, Jesus. So, periodically, it does these little cutaways and it just looks really fucking cool. It's just awesome. Oh, girl! Yeah, baby! That was, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Oh, shit. I, I'm not even sure what's fucking happening at this point. There's a lot going on. It's a little crazy. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna miss it. Am I gonna miss the time limit? Time limit. Damn it all. Oh well. Just be done with that. <laughs> but yeah, they all seem to be uh, kind of like that. There is apparently one character that is like a a One Punch Man moment, and it's pretty rad. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's Attack Heroes, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, 
go give it a shot. And um, I pretty much guarantee you'll like it if you like RPGs. Take it easy, guys. Oh, and leave in the comments below who your favorite Romance of the Three Kingdoms hero is and discuss.